Hi everyone, my name is Heather and I'm the person behind Happy Puppy Truffles. Today I wanted to share with you guys a free downloadable that you can get to print out your very own top. And uh, this is a fun origami to make for the holidays, uh, for Hanukkah, for, um, it's not like a dreidel exactly, but it's, you know, it can be a fun activity. I think a lot of different cultures enjoy, uh, you know, at the end of the year in Japan, for example, tops are very popular uh, around New Year's. So it's a, you know, old school toy that's always fun to have. And um, it's a, it's just a simple, fun kind of origami that you can also do with kids. Now, um, I say that though with a disclaimer, folding the origami is super easy. Putting it together is hard. So you definitely want to have somebody with a lot of patience or who's done it before or who's an adult, one of those three, whatever, <laughs> to help out with that part because it is hard. I even get angry sometimes. So <laughs> let me show you guys though. There's a few different variations of the printable. I have one, <clears throat> excuse me, that's like pastel colors. There's one that's more like jewel tone. And then there's one that has puppy dogs on it. And also classic uh, red, yellow, and blue, which I'm gonna show you guys to fold with here. So when you download the printable, there are uh, two pages and there's a total of six pieces, little six squares that you fold exactly the same and then you piece them all together. So I'll show you guys really quick here how to fold it. Uh, you just download those PDFs, cut out the little squares so you get the little piece like this. And we're just gonna start off with the water bomb base for all of these. So uh, what we're gonna do, uh, whether you have QR code or not, it doesn't really matter. We're just gonna start off by with the color side facing down and folding it in half uh, diagonally, and then folding it in half diagonally the other way too. And then with the color side facing up, fold it in half both ways as well. And once we have all these preliminary creases, it makes it a little easier to collapse everything. So this is a great way to practice learning how to fold the water bomb base. Because when you look at it like this and you fold it in half, you just push in and shimmy everything around until you get a nice little triangle. And that is the completed base. So it's a great way to practice that. And because you do need six of these, you can have uh, your little helpers do their part to make these so that you can put them all together. And you wind up with the six other pieces, the five other pieces made. So you have a total of six. Um, there's uh, generally three colors for each of these patterns to work with. And um, the QR code and stuff is a little important. You want to make sure that's not showing. So I'll show you guys what to do with that in the first part here. But basically what we're going to be doing is taking these pieces and using each of these little uh parts as either a um, pocket or a piece to go in the pocket, like an anchor. And um, the easiest way is to first worry about getting rid of that QR code and logo. So I'm just going to start off, for example, and make sure that this little guy is going to be going into a pocket. And that can happen with the same red on this side too, so that you have two yellow parts here and the uh, pockets being used for that. And then if we kind of hold on to it, this is the part where it's a little hard, you're gonna hold on to it like this still, and we're gonna do the same thing on this side. We wanna make sure that the red that sticks out is on these sides and not here. So I'm gonna take my other yellow piece and put it here so that I've got all of those areas covered up now. I have the yellows here and my reds showing. Now this is why it's a little tricky. If you don't want to use glue, you do need to kind of hold on to it with your hands. Now this does go together really well and when you're done, you don't need glue, but this part's the part that's a little hard. So you're rotating it around to be looking at the other side. Now these pieces aren't anchored anywhere yet, so you want to try to just hold on to them a little bit as you can, like so. And then I'm going to take the blue. Now, if you remember, we want red to show because it's already hiding in one of the pockets. So I can't put that in a pocket. That needs to be sticking out. Now the yellow can go inside a pocket. So I'm gonna go ahead and have it go into this part of the blue. And the reason is, is because I don't want this to be on top because then you can see the QR code. So put this one here and then this other side too, opposites. And what we're gonna do with this part is go inside of the red. So I'm gonna just start off by putting this one into the red first, getting each of these side ones taken care of, and then we'll worry about this red one here, if we can. We're just gonna get these guys going first. Kind of rotate it around for a second. 
Now I still need to get this inside. So kind of bending your paper around a little bit, try to get that inside that pocket, holding on to everything with your other hand until you can get that to go inside. And this is what I mean by it, it can be really frustrating. So you wanna make sure that you have a lot of patience and you take your time, but you should then get, kind of shimmy things around a little bit here, you should get a nice completed top part of the top. And you have the yellow base and the crisscross of the red and the blue at the top there. And I, I'm holding this together with my fingers on the sides because that needs to be done. Now, if we let go of it, it'll fall apart. So we've got the bottom part. We're gonna hold it, turn it over here. And now we're just going to hold on to these pieces like this, kind of pinching onto them. I'm gonna put this piece now on top. And remember, we're just gonna be following the same rules we did on the other side. We're gonna use the reds as pockets this time and have the blue go in. So the blue goes on top. And I think it always works to just kind of get it going sort of and then do that last one because sometimes it just doesn't want to cooperate. <laughs> it's It wants to also be going into there and we don't want it to. We want the red to stick out. So kind of get that all started. Shimmy things around. Getting those little legs to go where they need to. This one's kind of crooked. We'll shimmy it around. And then if you put a little pressure on each of your points you should have a nice completed top. And like I said, it does not require glue. You just need to have a lot of patience when you're putting it together in the beginning. If that's totally bugging you and you can't get it to work, then put a little bit of glue and it'll anchor your pieces together so that you don't need to worry about stuff falling apart later. So that's something you can do as a tip if you're working with somebody a little younger or who is newer to origami so that they can have a little more fun putting it together too. But, and then you can spin it around like a top. And it's just really pretty. And I think it also makes a really cute Christmas decoration if you wanna use it for that. You just string a little bit of string through there and then you have your own Christmas decorations too. So a really fun uh, modular introduction kind of to modular origami and um, just a fun way to kind of uh, make origami for the holidays. So um, this is a downloadable again that you can get free from my website. There is a uh, link in the description. You can also click on the little information circle throughout the video and that will take you there too. And um, this item and lots of other fun projects and things for Christmas are there um, and other holiday themed kinds of ideas. So check those out you guys if you uh, want to uh, have some time check them out and try to make I know sometimes winter break can get boring sometimes, all those days waiting, you know, for Santa to come. So <laughs> that's when I first learned most of my origami, waiting at night for Santa to come. And I uh, couldn't sleep, so I just stayed up all night making origami Christmas trees. So <laughs> um, I'll have some more fun things to share with you guys in the days to come. Thanks again always so much for watching, and I will see you all next time. Bye.